السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ آر یو آل چلڈرن آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن مسٹ ہیو ڈن یور ایگزامس ویل اینڈ یو ہیو گاٹ اے نائس ریلیکسڈ ویک آلسو رائٹ ناؤ وی آر ہیئر ٹو اسٹارٹ ود ایٹ سیکنڈ سیمسٹر اینڈ دا فرسٹ چیپٹر دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ان اے سیکنڈ سیمسٹر از ملٹیپلیکیشن ملٹیپلیکیشن از سم تھنگ نیو دیٹ یو آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن دس ایئر سو ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ وی مین بائی ملٹیپلیکیشن اینڈ ہاؤ ملٹیپلیکیشنس آر فارم اور دا ٹیبلس آر فارم let me tell you that as we proceed with this chapter you have to learn the multiplication tables okay this is a very important uh, thing that you should know to do this chapter that is multiplication tables okay so today we will see what we mean by multiplication or how this multiplication is formed if you remember we did addition right what do we mean by addition we add the things we put the things together and we get a larger number or a greater number right now multiplication is closely related with addition now, instead of doing addition again and again of a same number we multiply those numbers okay now what we mean by that we'll try to understand multiplication is nothing but repeated addition of a number when we add the same number again and again we can change that addition to multiplication okay so the repeated addition can be changed to multiplication fact so we'll try to first understand with the pictures that i have drawn on the board the first thing first group that i have is of 3 3 flowers in each group you can see there are 3 flowers here 3 here and 3 here so if i have to add them it will be 3 plus 3 plus 3 so 3 plus 3 plus 3 3 times i am adding right so it will be 9 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 the same thing i can change it to multiplication form so for that i will write it as how many times am i adding i am adding 3 times right 1 2 3 so 3 times i am adding and which is the number that i have repeatedly added over here that is 3 so 3 into 3 is equal to 9 so you can see the addition we can change it to multiplication form and the answer will remain the same we'll try to look into the second example here i have some chocolates like i have two chocolates here two 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 chocolates right so we'll try to add them so 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 how many times six times i have to add one 2 3 4 5 6 times so 2 plus 2 plus 2 2 2 and 2 you see i have added 2 6 times okay now instead of going on adding same number again and again we can change it to multiplication form okay so how many times did i add 2 over here Six times I have added. Okay, six into which number did I add? Two. Six into two. So you can see I have changed addition to repeated addition to multiplication form. Okay, six into two is twelve. Okay, let's add and see whether we get twelve in total. Two plus two is four. Four plus two is six. 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 so when we add this number again and again and or we change it to multiplication form the answer will remain the same now you can see this sign over here this sign we call this into sign or the sign that we use for multiplication okay this is the sign of symbol of multiplication Okay now let's look into the third example that I have on the board you can see I have five balls over here so in each group I have five five balls okay so I have to add 5 plus 5 plus 5 how many times five times I have to add 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 right so 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 so 5 times i have to add 
Now instead of adding the same number again and again, I can change it to multiplication form. So, how many times I am adding? 5 times I have added which number? 5. So, 5 into 5 is equal to 25. Let us see whether we get 25 or not. 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 5 is 25. So, 5 if we add 5 times or we multiply 5 into 5 the answer will remain the same. So, the first number that we write tells us how many times we are adding and the second number tells us which number we have added. Okay. Let us look over here. I have 3 into 6, 3 times 6, 3 tells us how many times we are adding and 6 is the number that we have to add again and again. Okay. So, we will try to write 3 into 6 in addition form. So, 3 times I have to add 6. So, 6 plus 6 plus 6, 3 times 6. So, if I add 6 3 times, what is the answer that we will get? 3 into 6 is 18. So, 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 6 is 18. So, 3 times 6 is equal to 18. Okay. Now, let us look into the second example. 2 into 8, 2 times 8, I have to add 8 2 times. So, that means 8 plus 8, 2 times 8. So, 8 plus 8 is 16. So, 2 into 8 is 16. This is how we form multiplication tables. Okay. Now, last example that I have here is 6 times 4, uh, 6 into 4. 4 is added how many times? 6 times. Okay. So, 6 times 4, 4 plus 4 plus 4, 4, 4, 4. So, I have added 4 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 into 4. 6 into 4 is 6 4 is a 24. So, when we add 4 6 times the answer that we get is 24. This is how we form multiplication facts or the multiplication tables. Okay? Children keep practicing this concept and inshallah you have to uh, also learn the multiplication tables in the same way. Okay? Inshallah we will meet very soon with our next topic. Till then stay at home and be safe. Jazakumullah khaira. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah.